back in my old hood on the west side of Cleveland. Grew up here from the age of 0 to 12. Um, this will always be home to me no matter what. But I'm going to tell you guys, you know, a lot of you guys don't know my history. Um, you know, I've had experience, my family has experienced a lot of tragedy. Um, in this video, I'm going to take you to my old house. I'm going to tell you some very disturbing things uh, that happened to my family. And, uh, and, and tell you how you can overcome, you know, a tragedy like my family experienced. And how motorcycles can help you. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. You know, if you're going to get a motorcycle, make sure you're wearing the gear out here to stay safe. And I'll tell you guys, I have some of the best gear you can buy. I have links to everything. Uh, this is my favorite helmet, super lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my MotoVlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, shorty gloves. Links to everything's in the description and comment section of this video. You probably see me do a lot of videos over here on the west side of Cleveland. Uh, like I said, I used to, this is where I grew up, man. You know, it's always home for me. Still looks the same, even though it's probably maybe semi-ghetto. <laughs> uh, it's not a true ghetto. If you want to see the true ghetto, you go on the, the east side of Cleveland, man. But here, let's, let's go up in here. Yeah. That's what, that's what the supermoto is awesome for. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. Yeah, that's why I love supermotos, God. One of the many reasons why I love supermotos is because you can go anywhere, baby. But some winners up in here too, baby. <laughs> this is the street I grew up on here on the west side of Cleveland. And I'm gonna tell you a little story about it, man. Right here, this house. This is where I grew up, man. Right here, baby. West side of Cleveland, man. I'm telling you, there was a house right here where this old man lived. He called it, the, he called this house the hard luck house. He said everybody that lived in this house had a lot of hard luck and tough times. He said this was, back in the day, there was a, a tornado that came through and this was the only house where the roof flew off the house. But this guy, he said, I wish he'd have told my mom and dad my late dad to not buy this house he told us after we moved in is that messed up but ironically this house is the one that it burned down we experienced a lot of heartache and tragedy you know in this house my dad he died in this house when i was four and a half years old he actually died in the house i think the house is haunted man seriously my dad he died at 30 years old um february 13th he was 30 and my brother, ironically, he died at 30 years old, February 3rd, at 30 years old. Isn't that crazy or what, man? And uh, it's crazy, man. And then on top of that, you know, my mom, she got strangled by a crazy man. And she was uh, left for dead. She was almost died. She was out. But the crazy man had a little heart. I guess he couldn't let her die. So he, he told my little sister, who was only probably like three or four years old at the time, to go get help. Uh, he, he told the, that he took the little, my sister, little sister, to the neighbor next door and told him that some man just killed this woman next door. Isn't that crazy? So they came and rescued her. And luckily, they were able to revive her. And she had severe... Uh, you know brain injury uh, brain damage they said that she would be relegated to a nursing home for the rest of her life and she was only I think she was like 30 or something man, or early 30s or something like that and I tell you when I saw her in the hospital she was all messed up man like she her arm like her head was crooked her arms were like like bent and she couldn't she, she had to learn how to do everything all over again and you know we all prayed for and you know God had other plans she not only made a full recovery after a number of years 
but she went on to get her bachelor's degree in nursing and graduated with like top honors <laughs> so much for the brain damage right and she uh she she's a retired nurse now we experienced a lot of craziness you know over here we had two house break-ins Bus is winners out here, baby. Yeah, we had two house break-ins, man. <laughs> like I said, this it, this is kind of the hood over here, man. Um, compared to the suburb, this is really like the, the ghetto over here. But but it's not like I, I feel safe enough to ride over here, obviously, man. But on the east side of Cleveland, there's some areas I wouldn't even ride in, dude. There's always gunshots and stuff. But over here, there's some crazy stuff that can happen, man. You know. But honestly. You know, I was on the path to being probably a criminal myself. I used to steal when I was over here. Everybody did in the hood. Like I said, I was headed off to the on the wrong track in life. <laughs> and my brother, too, after my dad died, we kind of, man, it just, our life completely changed forever. Forever, man. And, uh, you know, we went from being probably good kids to being little hooligans out here. <laughs> I'm still kind of a hooligan out here. <laughs> Busting some wheelers out here. Make sure these people see me out here, baby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but my life got turned around, you know, when I was about 10 years old. And uh, I told my cousin in Florida, I went to go visit my cousin in Florida, down in South Florida. And I, I asked her, I told her, hey, I told her, let's go steal some stuff in the grocery store. Like, she's like, what? She's like, I don't steal, we don't, I don't steal anything, that, ugh. <laughs> She's thinking I'm probably ghetto as heck, man, you know, and I was. But she went back and told her dad, my uncle, about me wanting to steal. Instead of him chastising me, he actually brought me to God, you know. And my life changed forever since then. He put the fear of God in me. And um, I know some of you guys don't believe in religion and everything or God or whatever. And that, that hey, that's your prerogative, I know. But I'm just telling you how, how my life changed. Um, but also, I tell you, you know, when you lose family members tragically like that and, and nearly lost my mom, it really affects you. You know, it really does for the rest of your life. Like, it's, it stays with you. You know, when you lose a father at a young age, a boy needs his father. You know, and we were raised, I'm raised by my, my mom. And, and, you know, it, it was hard to keep track of boys and you know, me and my brother like we we're little hooligans like i said we were good kids once and we went <laughs> started getting getting caught up at, at a young age too that's what's crazy man but that's why i tell you guys if you can afford it whatever you do don't move your family in the hood man to save money i don't care if you got to get a little one bedroom apartment in a really nice city with good schools do that guys Instead of moving them to the hood and saving money and getting a house because I wish my mom and dad would have saved money and and um, Not moved us over here and, and moved to the suburbs in Berea where I eventually moved to where my family's from uh, Which is a nice little suburb with great schools And because uh, I tell you living over in the hood man, that's why I talk the way I do some of you guys say cycle cruise you sound a little ghetto Blame it over here. My zero to twelve. That's where I, where I got this from. And actually, I, you know, I have a college degree, so I'm, I know I sound kind of stupid sometimes <laughs> and ghetto, but I'm no fool, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm no dummy. Uh, but it's like I said, I got that that hood talk of being raised in the hood, man. But I'm gonna tell you guys, like I said, that tragedy has has hounded me over the years. And what has helped me get through that and helped me like anytime I feel bad looking back in the past, which is, you know, they tell you don't look back in the past and it's hard not to, you know, it affects you. Like I said, when you lose family members, it affects you for life. But I tell you, ever feel down, get a motorcycle, man. Because I'll tell you, a motorcycle is very uplifting. It's beautiful. I've told you this on you know, many videos. That's why I keep doing these videos to help motivate you guys to get a motorcycle, man, because it, it's really uplifting. It has changed people's lives like myself, man. Whatever you're going through in life, and we all have had our trials and tribulations in this in this life, you know, all of us. None of us are gonna 
uh, get away from this life unscathed. All of us are going to be dealing with some stuff. But I'm going to tell you guys that whenever you feel down, just remember it always gets better. Find a hobby that you love to do. You know, keep your mind active. When you sit around and don't do nothing, idle hands are the devil's workshop. I tell you guys. Ten, you get you a motorcycle. Bust a wheelie and you feel good. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Anytime I feel down, I get on my motorcycle, I bust a wheelie. It's an instant gratification, instant cure. Yeah, baby. Tell me, guys, how has a motorcycle impacted your life? Has it made you made you feel better and helped change your life? I want to hear what you guys have to say. I thank all of you guys for being a viewer. I really appreciate all of you guys. I just want want to tell you guys that, and I, I you know I wish you guys all the best. But anyways, guys, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. It helps my channel when you hit the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel. Make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. So until next time, I catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Yeah.